Hi everyone, this topic we'll talk about Delta IFD 9506 gateway function to convert Ethernet IP implicit signal to mobile serial signal. You can see the system architecture. Uh, we will use an AS200 POC uh, linked with an IFD gateway and the IP address of AS POC will be 192.168.1.5 and gateway will be uh, 192.168.1.6. Then we will convert the Ethernet IP signal uh, to mobile serial IS485 and link with the DVP PLC. This table will show you the input and output data for IFD gateway. And you may wonder the output uh, we can see here from uh, 0 to 127. But uh, inside the software, you will see this one will show uh, 256. So you can see here the length uh, or the unit is bytes, but what we show over here is a uh, word. And this topic will show you how to map the data uh, to the input means uh, the information from IFT gateway will uh, map to the PLC. So uh, you can see here we will map the input data to zero but as you can see, uh, the input will from uh, 0 to 127, and this one is reserved for system. So the first uh, word data would be mapped to uh, 128. Then we can configure uh, Ethernet IP data exchange function. So as you can see here, we can scan the device. And this one is uh, IP uh, 0.5.6 for gateway. Then we uh, click the data exchange function. So this will pump up uh, this uh, setting a page. So you just uh, map to the data register. After uh, settle down this, then we can go back to DCI SOAP or you can use Chrome uh, to setting. And here we use a DCI SOAP as an example. So what we want to see is uh, the data register D0 uh, from DBP uh, POC. So uh, 1000 means a D0 and we want to check uh, 10 uh, words. So in uh, DBP POC uh, SA2, we will uh, modify the value from D0 uh, to D9, and then we can monitor the value uh, ch change uh, from uh, D128 uh, to uh, 137. So first of all, we go to the communication manager, and then uh, we can uh, search. So once a search complete, you will see the device on the network. So first is a AS200 POC and second will be the gateway. And then we uh, click set driver. Again, uh, this communication uh, car manager is uh, for version uh, two. That means you have to download from uh, DIA Studio. Okay, then uh, we can Back to ISP shop and do the communication setting. Uh, so if you still remember, uh, we have changed to six uh, because uh, this is for DBP POC and we use gateway. Uh, then we can check uh, POC information. Okay. Next, uh, we will go to uh, AS POC and again uh, we click the communication setting. Uh, so it's a point five, and then we can check a POC information. Okay, so after that, we can create the empty program, and then uh, add the uh, device monitor table. Uh, before that, uh, we can uh, we have to do some uh, setting inside hardware config. OK, 
Okay, so you can see this is the compose setting and the Ethernet port setting. But what we want to do is uh, for the Ethernet IP. Okay, so when you see this page, then we can uh, click a uh, scan. Then uh, click uh, scan again. Then we uh, select uh, IFD gateway. Then we can build a connection. And then uh, click the data ex exchange function. So this we already mentioned uh, for the output will map to uh, D1000 and input will map to D0. After that, we can download the setting. Okay, then we can back to uh, DBP, uh, create an empty program and then add on the device monitor table. Uh, but don't forget, we have to uh, set up this one in the DCI soft. So here uh, we select the interface and then search. So uh, serial master and in here we click word. Okay, and set uh, station address one, and then uh, start monitoring. Okay, then uh, we were back to the software. So we uh, switch to online first. And here, if you still remember, we are mo uh, monitor RD one one two eight. Uh, 10. Okay, and again, uh, let's back to DVP POC, switch online. So you can see because we download program, so all the value becomes zero. So we can back to check uh, ASPOC now also keeps the zero. Then we can do some uh, modification here. Okay, and we can switch back to uh, SPOC, so you can see it already mapped the data to uh, S. So this portion is for the uh, implicit uh, Ethernet IP function, and if you uh, prefer the explicit, uh, you can also use the command uh, to do this. Uh, so that's all for uh, this topic. Thank you.